In theoretical physics, negative mass is matter whose mass is of opposite sign to the mass of normal matter, e.g. minus 1 kg. Such matter would violate one or more energy conditions and show some strange properties, stemming from the ambiguity as to whether attraction should refer to force or the oppositely oriented acceleration for negative mass. It is used in certain speculative hypotheses, such as on the construction of traversable wormholes and the Alcubierre air drive. Initially, the closest known real representative of such exotic matter is a region of negative pressure density produced by the Casimir effect. General relativity describes gravity and the laws of motion for both positive and negative energy particles, hence negative mass, but does not include the other fundamental forces. On the other hand, the standard model describes elementary particles and the other fundamental forces, but it does not include gravity. A unified theory that explicitly includes gravity along with the other fundamental forces may be needed for a better understanding of the concept of negative mass. In December 2018, the astrophysicist Jamie Farnes from the University of Oxford proposed a dark fluid theory, related, in part, to notions of gravitationally repulsive negative masses, presented earlier by Albert Einstein, that may help better understand, in a testable manner, the considerable amounts of unknown dark matter and dark energy in the cosmos. In general relativity Negative mass is any region of space in which for some observers the mass density is measured to be negative. This could occur due to a region of space in which the stress component of the Einstein stress energy tensor is larger in magnitude than the mass density. All of these are violations of one or another variant of the positive energy condition of Einstein's general theory of relativity, however, the positive energy condition is not a required condition for the mathematical consistency of the theory. Topic. Inertial versus gravitational mass In considering negative mass, it is important to consider which of these concepts of mass are negative. Ever since Newton first formulated his theory of gravity, there have been at least three conceptually distinct quantities called mass. Inertial mass, the mass m that appears in Newton's second law of motion, f equals ma. Active. Gravitational mass, the mass that produces a gravitational field that other masses respond to. Passive. Gravitational mass, the mass that responds to an external gravitational field by accelerating. The law of conservation of momentum requires that active and passive gravitational mass be identical. Einstein's equivalence principle postulates that inertial mass must equal passive gravitational mass, and all experimental evidence to date has found these are, indeed, always the same. In most analyses of negative mass, it is assumed that the equivalence principle and conservation of momentum continue to apply, and therefore all three forms of mass are still the same, leading to the study of negative mass. But the equivalence principle is simply an observational fact, and is not necessarily valid. If such distinction is made, a negative mass can be of three kind, whether the inertial mass is negative, the gravitational mass, or both. In his fourth prize essay for the 1951 Gravity Research Foundation competition, Joaquin Mazdak Luttinger considered the possibility of negative mass and how it would behave under gravitational and other forces. In 1957, following Luttinger's idea, Hermann Bondi suggested in a paper in Reviews of Modern Physics that mass might be negative as well as positive. He pointed out that this does not entail a logical contradiction, as long as all three forms of mass are negative, but that the assumption of negative mass involves some counter intuitive form of motion. For example, an object with negative inertial mass would be expected to accelerate in the opposite direction to that in which it was pushed, non-gravitationally. There have been several other analyses of negative mass, such as the studies conducted by R. M. Price, however none address the question of what kind of energy and momentum would be necessary to describe non-singular negative mass. Indeed, the Schwarzschild solution for negative mass parameter has a naked singularity at a fixed spatial position. The question that immediately comes up is, would it not be possible to smooth out the singularity with some kind of negative mass density? The answer is yes, but not with energy and momentum that satisfies the dominant energy condition. This is because if the energy and momentum satisfies the dominant energy condition within a spacetime that is asymptotically flat, which would be the case of smoothing out the singular negative mass Schwarzschild solution, then it must satisfy the positive energy theorem, i.e. its ADM mass must be positive, which is of course not the case. 
However, it was noticed by Belatete and Paranjape that since the positive energy theorem does not apply to asymptotic de Sitter spacetime, it would actually be possible to smooth out, with energy momentum that does satisfy the dominant energy condition, the singularity of the corresponding exact solution of negative mass Schwarzschild de Sitter, which is the singular, exact solution of Einstein's equations with cosmological constant. In a subsequent article, Mbarek and Paranjape showed that it is in fact possible to obtain the required deformation through the introduction of the energy momentum of a perfect fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Runaway motion Although no particles are known to have negative mass, physicists primarily Hermann Bondi in 1957, William B. Bonner in 1964 and 1989, then Robert L. Forward have been able to describe some of the anticipated properties such particles may have. Assuming that all three concepts of mass are equivalent according to the equivalence principle, the gravitational interactions between masses of arbitrary sign can be explored, based on the Newtonian approximation of the Einstein field equations. The interaction laws are then Positive mass attracts both other positive masses and negative masses. Negative mass repels both other negative masses and positive masses. For two positive masses, nothing changes and there is a gravitational pull on each other causing an attraction. Two negative masses would repel because of their negative inertial masses. For different signs however, there is a push that repels the positive mass from the negative mass, and a pull that attracts the negative mass towards the positive one at the same time. Hence Bondi pointed out that two objects of equal and opposite mass would produce a constant acceleration of the system towards the positive mass object, an effect called runaway motion by Bonner who disregarded its physical existence, stating such a couple of objects would accelerate without limit except relativistic one, however, the total mass, momentum and energy of the system would remain zero. This behavior is completely inconsistent with a common sense approach and the expected behavior of normal. Matter. Thomas Gold even hinted that the runaway linear motion could be used in a perpetual motion machine if converted as a circular motion. But Forward showed that the phenomenon is mathematically consistent and introduces no violation of conservation laws. If the masses are equal in magnitude but opposite in sign, then the momentum of the system remains zero if they both travel together and accelerate together, no matter what the speed p s y s equals m v plus minus m v equals m plus minus m v equals 0 times v equals 0 Display style p underscore mathrm sis equals m v plus m v equals big m plus m big v equals zero times v equals zero, and equivalently for the kinetic energy e k s y s equals one two m v two plus 1 2 minus m v 2 equals 1 2 m plus minus m v 2 equals 1 2 0 v 2 equals Zero. Display style e underscore mathrm k sis equals tfrac one two m v carrot two plus tfrac one two m v carrot two equals tfrac one two big m plus m big v carrot two equals tfrac one two zero v carrot two equals zero. However, this is perhaps not exactly valid if the energy in the gravitational field is taken into account. Forward extended Bondi's analysis to additional cases, and showed that even if the two masses m minus and m plus are not the same, the conservation laws remain unbroken. This is true even when relativistic effects are considered, so long as inertial mass, not rest mass, is equal to gravitational mass. 
This behavior can produce bizarre results, for instance, a gas containing a mixture of positive and negative matter particles will have the positive matter portion increase in temperature without bound. However, the negative matter portion gains negative temperature at the same rate, again balancing out. Jeffrey A. Landis pointed out other implications of forwards analysis, including noting that although negative mass particles would repel each other gravitationally, the electrostatic force would be attractive for like charges and repulsive for opposite charges. Forward used the properties of negative mass matter to create the concept of diametric drive, a design for spacecraft propulsion using negative mass that requires no energy input and no reaction mass to achieve arbitrarily high acceleration. Forward also coined the term nullification. To describe what happens when ordinary matter and negative matter meet, they are expected to be able to cancel out or nullify each other's existence. An interaction between equal quantities of positive mass matter, hence of positive energy E. Topic MC2 and negative mass matter of negative energy minus E. Minus mc2 would release no energy, but because the only configuration of such particles that has zero momentum both particles moving with the same velocity in the same direction does not produce a collision, all such interactions would leave a surplus of momentum, which is classically forbidden. So once this runaway phenomenon had been revealed, the scientific community considered negative mass could not exist in the universe. Topic. Arrow of time and energy inversion Topic. In quantum mechanics In quantum mechanics, the time reversal operator is complex, and can either be unitary or antiunitary. In quantum field theory, T has been arbitrarily chosen to be antiunitary for the purpose of avoiding the existence of negative energy states. On the contrary, if the time reversal operator is chosen to be unitary in conjunction with a unitary parity operator in relativistic quantum mechanics, unitary PT symmetry produces energy and mass inversion. Topic: In dynamical systems theory. In group theory of dynamical systems theory, the time reversal operator is real, and time reversal produces energy and mass inversion. In 1970, Jean-Marie Souriai demonstrated, using Kirillov's orbit method and the coadjoint representation of the full dynamical Poincaré group, i.e. the group action on the dual space of its Lie algebra or Lie algebra, that reversing the arrow of time is equal to reversing the energy of a particle, hence its mass, if the particle has one, in general relativity, the universe is described as a Riemannian manifold associated to a metric tensor solution of Einstein's field equations. In such a framework, the runaway motion prevents the existence of negative matter. Some bimetric theories of the universe propose that two parallel universes instead of one may exist with an opposite arrow of time, linked together by the Big Bang and interacting only through gravitation. The universe is then described as a manifold associated to two Riemannian metrics, one with positive mass matter and the other with negative mass matter. According to group theory, the matter of the conjugated metric would appear to the matter of the other metric as having opposite mass and arrow of time, though its proper time would remain positive. The coupled metrics have their own geodesics and are solutions of two coupled field equations. The Newtonian approximation then provides the following gravitational interaction laws. Like masses attract, positive mass attracts positive mass, negative mass attracts negative mass. Unlike masses repel, positive mass and negative mass repel each other, those laws are different to the laws described by Bondi and Bonner, and solve the runaway paradox. The negative matter of the coupled metric, interacting with the matter of the other metric via gravity, could be an alternative candidate for the explanation of dark matter, dark energy, cosmic inflation and accelerating universe. Topic. In Gauss's law of gravity In electromagnetism one can derive the energy density of a field from Gauss's law, assuming the curl of the field is zero. Performing the same calculation using Gauss's law for gravity produces a negative energy density for a gravitational field. Topic. Gravitational interaction of antimatter 
The overwhelming consensus among physicists is that antimatter has positive mass and should be affected by gravity just like normal matter. Direct experiments on neutral antihydrogen have not been sensitive enough to detect any difference between the gravitational interaction of antimatter, compared to normal matter. Bubble chamber experiments provide further evidence that antiparticles have the same inertial mass as their normal counterparts. In these experiments, the chamber is subjected to a constant magnetic field that causes charged particles to travel in helical paths, the radius and direction of which correspond to the ratio of electric charge to inertial mass. Particle-antiparticle pairs are seen to travel in helices with opposite directions but identical radii, implying that the ratios differ only in sign, but this does not indicate whether it is the charge or the inertial mass that is inverted. However, particle-antiparticle pairs are observed to electrically attract one another. This behavior implies that both have positive inertial mass and opposite charges. If the reverse were true, then the particle with positive inertial mass would be repelled from its antiparticle partner. In quantum mechanics In 1928, Paul Dirac's theory of elementary particles, now part of the standard model, already included negative solutions. The standard model is a generalization of quantum electrodynamics QED, and negative mass is already built into the theory. Morris, Thorne and Yurtseva pointed out that the quantum mechanics of the Casimir effect can be used to produce a locally mass negative region of space-time. In this article, and subsequent work by others, they showed that negative matter could be used to stabilize a wormhole. Kramer et al. argue that such wormholes might have been created in the early universe, stabilized by negative mass loops of cosmic string. Stephen Hawking has proved that negative energy is a necessary condition for the creation of a closed timelike curve by manipulation of gravitational fields within a finite region of space. This proves, for example, that a finite Tipler cylinder cannot be used as a time machine. Topic. Schrödinger equation For energy eigenstates of the Schrödinger equation, the wave function is wave-like wherever the particle's energy is greater than the local potential, and exponential-like evanescent wherever it is less. Naively, this would imply kinetic energy is negative in evanescent regions to cancel the local potential. However, kinetic energy is an operator in quantum mechanics, and its expectation value is always positive, summing with the expectation value of the potential energy to yield the energy eigenvalue. For wave functions of particles with zero rest mass such as photons, this means that any evanescent portions of the wave function would be associated with a local negative mass energy. However, the Schrödinger equation does not apply to massless particles, instead the Klein-Gordon equation is required. In special relativity One can achieve a negative mass independent of negative energy. According to mass energy equivalence, mass m is in proportion to energy E and the coefficient of proportionality is C2. Actually, m is still equivalent to E although the coefficient is another constant such as minus C2. In this case, it is unnecessary to introduce a negative energy because the mass can be negative although the energy is positive. That is to say, E equals minus mc2 greater than 0 meters equals minus ec2o display style begin aligned E and equals mc carrot 2 greater than 0 m and equals frac E c carrot 2 under the circumstances d E equals fds equals dp dt ds equals ds dt dp equals v dp equals v d mv displaced. Y L E D equals F D S equals frac D P D T D S equals frac D S D T D P equals V D P equals V D M V, and so minus C two D M equals V D M V minus C two Two M D M equals two M V D M V minus C two D M two equals D M two 
v 2 minus m 2 c 2 equals m 2 v 2 plus c display style begin aligned c caret 2 dm and equals v dm v c caret 2 2 meters dm and equals 2 m v dm v c caret 2 dm caret 2 and equals dm caret 2 v caret 2 m caret 2 c caret 2 and equals m caret 2 v caret 2 plus c end aligned when v equals 0 c equals minus m o 2 c 2 display style c equals m underscore 0 caret 2 c caret 2 consequently minus m 2 c 2 equals m 2 v 2 minus m o 2 c 2 meters equals m o 1 plus v 2 c 2 display style begin aligned m caret 2 c caret 2 and equals m caret 2 v caret 2 m underscore 0 caret 2 c caret 2 m and equals frac m underscore 0 sqrt 1 plus frac v caret 2 c caret 2 end aligned where m 0 0 the squared mass is still positive and the particle can be stable. From the above relation, P equals M V equals M0 V1 plus V2 C2 O display style P equals M V equals frac M underscore 0 V SQRT 1 plus frac V carrot 2 C carrot 2. The negative momentum is applied to explain negative refraction, the inverse Doppler effect, and the reverse Cherenkov effect observed in a negative index metamaterial. The radiation pressure in the metamaterial is also negative because the force is defined as F equals dP, dt. Negative pressure exists in dark energy too. Using these above equations, the energy-momentum relation should be E 2 equals minus P 2 C 2 plus M 0 2 c 4 display style e caret 2 equals p caret 2 c caret 2 plus m underscore 0 caret 2 c caret 4 substituting the planck einstein relation e topic omega and de broglie's p hk we obtain the following dispersion relation Omega two equals minus K two C two plus Omega P two E zero equals Omega P equals minus M zero C two greater than zero Display style Omega carrot two equals K carrot two C carrot two plus Omega underscore Mathram P carrot two quad left E underscore zero equals HBAR Omega underscore Mathram P equals M underscore zero C carrot two greater than zero right When the wave consists of a stream of particles whose energy momentum relation is E Two equals minus p two c two plus m zero two c four. Display style e carrot two equals p carrot two c carrot two plus m underscore zero carrot two c carrot four wave particle duality and can be excited in a negative index metamaterial the velocity of such a particle is equal to v equals c e o 2 e 2 minus 1 equals c omega p 2 omega 2 minus 1 display style v equals c sqrt frac e underscore 0 carrot 2 e carrot 2 minus 1 equals c sqrt frac omega underscore mathram p carrot 2 omega carrot 2 minus 1 and range is from 0 to infinity omega p 2 omega 2 2 when vc Omega p two omega two greater than two when v greater than c display style begin aligned frac omega underscore mathram p caret two omega caret two and two quad m box when v greater than c end aligned. Moreover, the kinetic energy is also negative. E k equals e minus e zero equals minus m c two minus minus m zero c two equals 
minus m 0 c 2 1 plus v 2 c 2 plus m 0 c 2 equals m 0 c 2 1 minus 1 1 plus v 2 C two zero where M O O display style begin aligned E underscore mathram K and equals E E underscore zero and equals M C carrot two left M underscore zero C carrot two right and equals frac M underscore zero C carrot two SQRT one plus frac V carrot two C carrot two plus M underscore zero C carrot two and equals M underscore zero C carrot two left one frac one SQRT one plus frac V carrot two C carrot two right. In fact, negative kinetic energy exists in some models to describe dark energy, phantom energy, whose pressure is negative. In this way, the negative mass of exotic matter is now associated with negative momentum, negative pressure, negative kinetic energy, and faster-than-light phenomena. Equals <laughs> equals. See also.